guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to my makeup room. So today I have another TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul for you. I'm excited to show you guys everything that I have found. So the first thing here is this Mally Intensely Impactable Dramatic Lash Mascara. So this was $3.99. I have hauled this um, at least one other time. I think I have another one somewhere as well. But every time I see this, I go ahead and I pick it up because this is like my favorite mascara right now and for four dollars you know it's a great price whenever I see it I grab them up it just grabs the lashes so well it's super um volumizing I absolutely love it and then this here from Zoeva this is from Marshalls it was $5.99 and this is a face slash finish brush so this is the 108 brush, show you. That's what that looks like. I feel like this is a gorgeous brush. This would definitely be something that I would probably use to bronze with. It feels nice and soft. I definitely could use this for powder as well. It's a nice short handle, so it could be good to use to travel. So I'm glad I got this. I will definitely be washing this and using that. And then, guys, I want to show you this super exciting find. It was from Marc Jacobs. It's their Iconic Multi-Finish Eye Palette in Fine Ground. I've been looking and looking and looking for this. It is $19.99. So this is the eyeshadow palette that goes along with that blush, bronzer, and highlight um, Marc Jacobs palette that I picked up from there before. In the same, like marble packaging and I just think this marble marble packaging is just absolutely gorgeous and even better these are gorgeous cool tone eyeshadows so I'm excited to finally be able to use this so on this one here you do have four mattes three shimmers it's gorgeous I know $20 might seem a lot at TJ Maxx but this alone, like on the website, goes for like 50 some dollars on Sephora. So getting it for $20 is actually a super good price. Okay. And then this guy from TJ Maxx was a super exciting find. This is from NARS. It's their Tinted Glow Booster. And it is $14.99. The shade is in... I will put the name on the screen. I don't want to butcher that. But I thought this was gorgeous. This has got awesome glass packaging. You do have a pump. I will put some on the back of my hand so I can kind of show you guys what it looks like. This is something that you would use like you would use Charlotte Tilbury um, while it was flawless filter kind of thing right before you put your um, makeup on. It kind of just gives you a glowy natural base. There's that. So I think that is gorgeous. It feels really great it's on the back of my hands. I'll be putting this on my vanity so I'm able to use this before I put my makeup on. So I'm super excited when I found this for only $15. There's that. And then this is from Cover FX. This is their Power Play Long Wear Foundation. So this was $9.99. This was in G40. So again, I think this shade might be a little too dark for me, but that's okay. It'll be great when I have a spray tan. So this has got like the squeezy top. I think that this foundation is no longer available. I think that's why we're finding it at TJ Maxx. But um, I think this foundation retails for 40 some dollars. So to get it for 10 is a great price. I'm excited to use that. I love foundations. This was a super exciting find from Murad. It's their Acne Control Outsmart Acne Clarifying Treatment. It's what this looks like. It was $7.99 from TJ Maxx. So it's got 1% salicylic acid in there. So it's a lightweight gel serum, clinically proven to reduce all over acne in just one week. And we all know Murad skincare is super expensive. So when I saw this for $8, I'm like, okay, going in the cart, need that. 
And with me having to wear a mask for work, I definitely had the mask knee right here around my chin that I am trying to desperately get rid of. So hopefully that'll help. So I have this as well from Zoeva. This is the first kind of Zoeva product that I've seen in this packaging. It's in Heritage. So this was $5.99 from TJ Maxx. And this is a highlighting powder. That's what that looks like. So to me, this is probably going to be a blush, a blush topper. I think it's going to be too dark to be a highlighter on me. But I knew that going in when I bought it that I would probably be using this as like a blush topper. Do you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? And it was so soft. So I'm excited about this. And I'm glad it was only $6. That's super affordable. Then let's move on to some Makeup Revolution. So I have never seen this eyeshadow palette. So this is the Revolution Pro Night and Day Color Focus Shadow Palette. It was for $4.99 at TJ Maxx. I love this like white packaging they have going on here. Um, I was super excited because I'm like, I, I don't have anything like this. And it was even more gorgeous when you opened it up. It's one of these eyeshadow palettes from Revolution Pro and I don't have any of them. So I'm excited to have this. This blue looks gorgeous. Of course the names are on this plastic sheet. I wish they would just kind of put them on the palette. But let me swatch a couple of these. Like if I love blue eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? That is gorgeous. And this was literally $5. Wow. So this, one of these shades, this one right here reminds me of Max Blue Brown Pigment. But there's that. Gorgeous. I am so excited to use this. I'm going to have to put this aside. So I use this tomorrow. But if I really like this formula, I just didn't think I would like it in that formula with the little circles. I'm definitely going to go on their website and place an order for more of these palettes because so far this looks amazing. Okay, and to keep going on here with Revolution Pro, we have this eyeshadow palette here in New Neutral. It's Passion Palette. It's from Marshalls. It was $5.99. There's your sticker. That's what the packaging looks like. Gorgeous packaging. And then this is the color story. I feel like um, Revolution Pro does a lot of pressed glitters. So in this one here, you do have three pressed glitters, which I'm not a big fan of. If I look here in the back of the palette, a majority of these are pressed pigments. But... Um, I'll do a couple swatches for you so you guys can take a look. One shimmer, one matte. That's a gorgeous purple. So there's that gorgeous purple, nice and pigmented. That kind of brown there was nice and soft for the matte. So there's that. And then we have another one that is like that. And this is in Romance. So this one was in Romance and the other one was in Passion. So this is a while was from Marshall. This one was from TJ Maxx actually for $5.99. So the packaging looks like. And then this one here only has one press glitter, which is better. If you're going to put a press glitter in a palette, I guess, just put one. We don't need like four. <laughs> But that's what this look is like. Isn't that gorgeous? This shade looks gorgeous. That looks gorgeous. This is a standalone palette with that eyeshadow shade. Um, a majority of these are pressed pigments. Let me do a couple swatches for you. I had to do those two shades that were gorgeous. So pretty. Kind of looks similar to the other one. So that kind of looks like MAC Blue Brown Pigment and that shade here almost looks like that one, but it's still super pigmented and gorgeous. 
And then also from Revolution Pro, we got this one here for $5.99 and it was from Marshalls. It's in the smoked palette. That's what that looks like. And this one is gorgeous. So this one here has two press glitters in it. Maybe, no, three. Yeah, it's got three press glitters in it, which, I mean, I'm not the happiest about. So press glitter, press glitter, and right there is a press glitter. But that shade is gorgeous. The blues are gorgeous. I can use that underneath the brow. So this is a standalone palette for me. Let me swatch a couple of these for you. That is gorgeous. I just love the blues in here. Um, I don't know what it is. But I've really been into blue eyeshadow lately. Wait till you see this. So there's that. And then this one here is like a black with like blue sparkle in it. Gorgeous. So that I'm excited about that. I just wish, you know, maybe there wasn't three glitters in there. But that's all right. And then this here from I Heart Revolution. This is the Chocolate S'mores palette. This was for Marshalls, $6.99. I didn't have this. I saw this one. I was super excited. Show you what it looks like. Nice, gorgeous, neutral tone eyeshadow palette. This for sure will be a standalone eyeshadow palette for me. I have that shade there. I have that shade there. Um, nah, none of these in here are pressed pigments, so if you don't like pressed pigments, this would be a good one to get. Let me swatch them. Feels like standard Makeup Revolution formula. Matte and a shimmer for you. Gorgeous. They feel great, like all of their palettes do, right there. Be excited about that. And then this one here is peanut butter cup there's that and as well this is the sticker right here that you can peel off if you were into that so this was from tj maxx as well $6.99 and this is what this color story looks like so this as well will be a standalone eyeshadow palette for me i love the orange there I think this is going to be almost a good fall eyeshadow palette. You got the oranges, yellows, but you got the dark colors in there. It's neutral at the same time. So I'm excited about this. Swatch Honey, that yellow, and then we got to do that orange. There's that. I'm running out of room. There's those, nice and pigmented. And then from Makeup Obsession, I found this eyeshadow palette here, Love Is My Drug. This was $3.99. And this is just a nice, cool, moth-toned eyeshadow palette. Super gorgeous. Definitely a standalone eyeshadow palette for me. Again, um, I definitely, definitely like other Makeup Revolutions formula more than Makeup Obsession. So I find myself most of the time picking up my Makeup Obsession from TJ Maxx and Marshalls to get it cheaper. But I do like how you can pop these eyeshadows out and, you know, make your own palette, rearrange them, do whatever you want. So whenever I see one of these, I'm always picking them up. I didn't have this one and I'm excited to have it now. And then the last palette here from I Heart Revolution, it is their mini avocado palette. Is this not gorgeous or what? Marshalls, $3.99. Cute little avocado. None of these shades are pressed pigments, which is great. And I just adore this color story. I love these shimmer shades that they put in here. So you've got five shimmers, three mattes. I love this green here. I cannot wait to use this. Let me know if you'd like to see a video on any of these palettes. Go get ready with me. I can definitely do that. And then from Makeup Revolution, this is their Define and Fill Brow Pencil. 
So this is the one that I hauled um, a while ago that I bought off their website that feels like a paperweight. It is nice and weighted. But I went ahead and I got this shade in warm brown. Now that my hair is a different color, it's supposed to be like a coppery color. I thought that maybe this warm brown would be a good shade for that. So we'll see. Then from Impressions Vanity, I got this tri-fold LED compact mirror. So this was $7.99 and I thought that this would be a really good um, like mirror that I could use when I'm um, getting ready. If I wanted to do a get ready with you guys or something, sitting down here, you know, cause I'm blind and I can't, um, there's no way I could look at a mirror you know, I'd have to have this right up here with me, but it is got three sides. It does light up, I believe. Oh, I need to put batteries in it. So then on the sides, I've got 2X magnif magnification. It's nice and small. I can hold it here. You know, if I'm doing an eyeshadow look review for you. So I saw this and I needed it for sure. Maybe. Okay. Just a couple more things, guys. So, from Marshalls. This was... The Beekman 1802 Weight Off Your Shoulders Goat Milk Neck Serum. That's what that looks like. This is in the sh in the shade. It is $9.99, so it's got this massaging applicator. I have been using this. I love this applicator. You twist it like this on and off, and then you apply it this way. It feels super cooling. I like having a neck serum. For mascaras, this is from Ardell. This is their Fiber Building Mascara Wispies. So this was $3.99. This will go in like my backup drawer. I have too many mascaras open. But when I saw that this was a fiber building, I needed to have it. And then from BH Cosmetics, this is their Stellar Lash Vomanizing Mascara. This was $5.99. This one as well is not open. I have so many that are open, but the packaging got me. It was gorgeous. It says that it's volumizing. I like a volumizing mascara the most. So I'm glad I have that. Then from Marshalls from Ciate London is this Dewy Blush Glossy Cheek Tint. And this was $4.99. And that's what that looks like. The shade is in coconut. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. It's a gorgeous shade. But when you blend it in. I just feel like it blends into nothing. I mean, I guess you can kind of see that there. So maybe it, it's not as bad. I don't know. I just feel like it's not super pigmented and it like blends all away. But I haven't used it on my face, so I will wait and use it on my face. And then my last item here, guys, is from e.l.f. This was their e.l.f. Mint Melt Brush Set love this color of green this was $4.99 and you got three little eye brushes in here I thought this was great so we have an all over the eyeshadow all over eyeshadow brush an eye contour brush and we have a blending brush which is awesome and we got it for five dollars so guys, that is it today for my TG Maxx and Marshalls haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.